You know it's going to be a good video when I have to apologize to you before you've even watched it. This is a travesty on the human race and never should have taken place. I guess doing challenges like 120 Hunters versus the Fallen King and 120 Shotgunners versus the Fallen King has made me a little cocky. I thought that 120 Demo Mans versus the Fallen King could at least handle the early waves on their own. Wait. Is it Demo Mans or Demo Min? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Either way, this tower is trash. What I learned from this game is that there is absolutely no reason whatsoever to use this tower. It does nothing. Honestly, your money is going to be better spent on the Scout or the Sniper, which are free towers. You don't even have to buy them in the shop. In fact, let's go ahead and compare the stats on those two free towers to the Demo Man. As you can see here, the important stat, damage per second, is almost identical throughout all the levels for each tower. But the Demo Man has two big handicaps, its fire rate and its range. While at max level, it technically does have the best DPS, it doesn't get to attack for very long because of its short range and its lengthy fire rate. So many zombies, especially the fast ones, are able to move outside its area of attack before it can fire on them multiple times. This makes it extremely ineffective, especially at its lower levels. So as you can see from these stat charts, the scout is a much better early game option. Another huge drawback for the demo man is the fact that it doesn't have hidden detection. This, coupled with its inability to kill even the weakest zombies, meant we took the most damage we've ever taken for one of these challenge vids and had to call on a reinforcement golden minigunner to make sure we didn't die before wave 15. In my opinion, the only positive thing that came out of using this tower was that it makes a pretty cool constant sun effect on the enemies towards the end of the game. Just because because there's so many demo men attacking at one time. So be sure to watch this video all the way through so you don't miss any of that. The commander definitely helps boost the demo man's slow fire rate and at max level it keeps him firing constantly. Unfortunately, he just doesn't do any damage. And the DJ is going to give its typical range boost, but it isn't that effective for towers with low initial range like the demo man. And in a valiant effort, freezers and electroshockers are going to rush in to try and slow the zombies down, but it just isn't enough. Now I know some of you guys are going to be crying saying you're not using only demo man you're cheating so let me remind you the entire goal of this challenge is to see how a big group of one kind of damage tower can handle the final wave so we're allowed to use any towers we want to get to wave 40 in fact we have to use minigunners and military bases here just so we don't die to hidden we also throw in some rangers to be sure we're doing enough damage to not get overwhelmed this makes it difficult to know exactly how good a bunch of max level demo men can do against certain enemies but that's just the price we have to pay to get to the Fallen King. To me, it looks like the Demo Men at max level do okay because they're buffed by the Commander and the DJ with the Freezer and Electroshocker helping out. They managed to do some decent damage and maybe we could have sold the Rangers and the Mill bases once our Demo Man army was set up, but I literally thought of that idea just now. All right, guys, start over. We got to do it again. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Demo Man is not worth redoing this video. And I gotta give a shout out to my explosive teammates for this game. Doom Seal 2, Nixalize, The Odd Ones Out First, Portrait Guy 72, Rex 567 Duho, Synax Blocks YT, and Tessel Apple 897. Now sit back, relax, and grab a cat, and I'll see you right back here at the end when we definitely win.
Well, there you have it. Demo Man couldn't even make it to just the Fallen King. No surprise there. They did manage to wipe out most of the Fallen Heroes, but even the Golden Minigunners helped, so this tower still sucks. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And while you're at it, go ahead and join my growing Discord community. You can do that at discord.gg slash just Harrison things. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace! Thank you.